What's up guys? Welcome to tutorial number 22. And it's going to be another short but informational one. Anyway, whatever. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to put all of our enemies in an array and then we're going to destroy them and crush them. And we're going to keep it short and sweet like Gorilla Feet. Dumb. So dumb. Anyways, go to Game Manager. Take a look at Game Manager Bob. See what he's doing today. He's got a yellow hat on. Um, we need to make our array. And it's going to be a, an array for the game object. So it'll be the game object. Put those little suckers in there. Otherwise, it, it won't work. And then um, call it my enemies. This <laughs> Nah, that's fine. Just call it my enemies. Die. That's fine. And copy and paste. Save three seconds. And use. Don't worry about the cursor. Unless you want to queue it. Um, paste that over real quick. And then we're just going to say. Um, well, we need to find them. So we're going to go game object. Oops. And it's going to be find objects. <laughs> Which objects? What are you talking about? What is this guy's deal? And remember, it takes a string, and it's gonna be the the tag. Which real quick, and I got a question because I'm I'm pretty sure this is Mandela effect. Uh, on our enemies, where are they at? There we go. We had that we have the tag Ice Cube Killer Killer, and I swear on an earlier version of Unity, you could copy and paste that tag over, which I can no longer do. Um, which sucks but because you can copy and paste it over this way from mono nuclei no ice cube killer killer so with that said all you're gonna say is find object hack I don't know what he's talking about Let's see what happens Just pause it you don't want to hear that sound real quick and go to game manager and look and look at that. They took all these guys and put them in a rear really quick, which is awesome. Do, 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 do. Um, why this is handy? So you can do whatever you want with them. You want to destroy them? That's fine. You can do that too. For that part, we're going to use the for each loop. Everybody's favorite. And we're just going to go another. We're going to put all those game objects in the array into another game object so we can annihilate it like that. And game object, call it whatever you want. And then you can use in. Look at keyword in for each type identifier in expression statement. Or you can read the rest. And then it's just going to be something like um, my array. So minus die. You're saying anything in this array. I mean, what do you want to do with it? You want to take that new game object and then, well, we'll, we'll set active to false. That's, we'll be nice to him today. And uh, you can probably destroy it too if you want. But maybe they got it. Maybe you give them a second chance. And then you can see that they're all set act active to false. Very easy. Very easy. And just for testing purposes, real quick, uh, take another look at that. Control P, Command P to play. Start cut. And C. There you go. You comment it out, and they don't set active to false. And then if you uncomment it out, they are set active to false. Dude. Anyways, I say, guys, um, I hope that that's useful for somebody. I know I used it one time, um, probably a couple of times, and I found it extremely useful. And I use it probably every day um, after dinner. So, like, subscribe, and uh, ring the ding. And we'll catch you next time, guys. I hope everybody's doing awesome. Let me know what your game. And I hope you make a million dollars. We'll catch you next time. See you.